Yes, hello, happy Saturday wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good day. My name's George Aikid and this is Craft Along here on Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. How are you doing? It's great to have you wherever you are. Now, just to let you know, we aren't live today. Everything's pre-recorded. Hate to spoil the magic for you, but we're still having loads and loads of crafty fun. Earlier today, you saw me win in Play Crafts Right against Jan, and now it's time for a craft along with everyone's favourite Scottish man. It's the wonderful Craig. Hello, Craig. <laughs> Thank you so much, George. Yeah, not used to being in on a Saturday, am I? Mm. But here we are on the craft along, and what a fun craft along that we have got with you. It's all about our balanced creator cards. Now, we're going to go over what we're going to be making just in a moment, but I thought past craft alongs, we've gone and we've really pushed the boundary. So I thought this time, let's just rein it back in. Maybe you're relatively new to us at Crafters Companion over the recent weeks and months. Maybe the craft alongs, maybe can be just a bit too much for you to do crafting along live with us, although you would be doing it live, although we're not live. So I thought, let's just uh, rein it in and we're going to be making this. Oh, wow. Now, this one, believe it or not, you might think at first, oh my gosh, that's a little bit complicated. Trust me, it is not. Very, very simple, but you're getting that spectacular wow effect. To make that, though, you're going to need some products. Yeah. So, I'm going to go over what you're going to need if you want to be making exactly what I'm going to be doing. And here's the first list for you. You're going to need your balance, create a card dies, forever yours, and butterfly wishes. You're also going to need some white smooth stamping card. You're going to need your Harmony Water Reactive inks, Fuchsia, Grasshopper, Friar Brown. Then you're going to need your 12 by 12 garden paper pad and your 12 by 12 garden party pearlescent cardstock. Then what you're also going to need is your A4 Gemini machine. It does need to be A4 because of the, uh, the way that we die cut this. I'll explain it more in a moment. Blending tool, double-sided tape or a tape runner, tacky glue with a small applicator, scoreboard, guillotine, scissors, pokey tool, and some thread as well. If you use all of that, that's what you're going to be using to make exactly what I'm going to do. But of course, as we know by now, some of you change it. You maybe do different colours. It's completely up to you, but at least you can be crafting along with myself. Absolutely. It's a great, exciting project. I know loads of you are looking forward to this. Now, don't worry if you're looking at this going, well, I haven't got everything there. Our shows are on YouTube for as long as time can itself. So make sure you come back later on if you're uh, buying everything today and come back and watch these at a later date so you can craft along with Craig. And that goes along for any craft alongs that you see here on Crafters TV. Save them into your playlist and come back and watch us at a later date. But if you are looking at that going, well, I really want to make that. What on earth is is that it is the everyday creator card die collection there's 26 element and there are six different designs you have got the butterfly wishes forever yours shine bright raise your glasses love birds save the date and also we're chucking in the die brush tool and the foam pads that you can see here just there uh, it's a great deal and buying this bundle today it means that here in the uk and the eu you're saving yourself over 20 percent and over there in the states you're saving yourself 20 percent it's 97.99 118 dollars 95 and that incredible platinum price for club inspired 78.39 95 dollars 16. now you can see there's six different designs within this range let's take a closer look into the range so you can see everything that you see there first of all we have got the wonderful save a day they've all got that wonderful hanging feature that you've seen there and within each pack you'll see two different statements as well so even though you see the save the date within each pack you're going to get two different uh, wonderful words so you've got save the date here and if you open it up you've got a wonderful clock feature that you see isn't that gorgeous absolutely love that then you've also got the uh, wonderful butterfly wishes you can never go wrong we love a butterfly here at crafters you can't go wrong with that gorgeous little butterfly there in the middle absolutely stunning and then you've also got the wonderful uh, raise your glasses again with the wonderful champagne glasses there in the middle and you know sometimes you might not even use them and the hanging feature you might just want to this is being stuck here onto acetate you might not want to use them as a hanging feature you might want to just use them um for that, that old traditional way. Plus as well, you've got the Forever Yours, which is what Craig's been using today, with a wonderful couple there in the swing. There they are. And we've also got the wonderful, um, beautiful Shine Bright. Look at that, that is stunning. There with the moon and the stars. Again, not hanging, just being stuck there at the back. 
It's absolutely stunning. And the last one within this wonderful collection is the gorgeous Lovebirds. I like this one. This is gorgeous. Now, producer Everin's in today, and when she was showing me this, she, she said, you've got to do this noise. So that is, uh, that is the Lovebirds there. A great collection. And today, remember, on this bundle, you're also getting the dye brush and the pad as well. Remember, throughout the show, we'll be showing you everything that you need to get if you want to make the exact same card. But I know you guys love making your own cards. Remember, share them with us. You know, we're not live, but make sure you share them on the socials and share them in the comments. We'd love to see you. Remember, you can get in touch in all the usual places. But you've had enough of me talking now. I think it's time we get started with this craft long. Craig, what do we need to do first? Right here. So we are going to start, funny enough, right at the very beginning, and we're going to score our card blank. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our sheet of our white smooth stamping card, and we've left it the A4 size that it actually is. So we're going to come in with our scoreboard here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm popping it up to the left-hand side, and then I'm going to score at six inches, and I always like to do it lightly, but a few times. And then what I'm also going to do is score at the three inch. So that is then going to give us our halfway point with the six inch and then halfway point of that one with the three inch. So then what I can do is I can then fold this in on itself. And then what I'm going to do is give it a really good burnish back and forwards. And now we've got our score line down the middle here where we've got the three inch. So I'm going to then fold that back on itself now. And then what we can do is we can then come along and give that another burnish. And then that is the starter of your card that we can see here. So what I'm then going to do just now is I'm going to go straight in with the die cutting. And we're going to use the Forever Yours. Now if we go in with the die, what you will find with the dies is that, as George was pointing out just beforehand, you've got the main decoration die, then you've got a few of the other components. So you've got the man and the lady there just sitting there, which is going to be the swinging aspect, and a couple of sentiments. We can deal with them later on, but what we're going to do with this one is on this, you've got all the die cut detail all the way round. But along the bottom, and what will be the left hand side, there's no cutting edge. So that means all of this surrounding area is going to cut away, but this is going to enable it to stay within your card. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and I'm going to come as far up to the right hand side as I can. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come pretty much as far up as I can as well. So along here at the top, that is where that edge of the die ends. Yeah. So what I'm then going to do, so if I turn it around, you can see it there. And then, so basically what we're doing as far up to the top as we can, as far to the right hand side as we can. And then I'm going to bring in my low tack tape and we're going to secure this. All of the centre bit, George, is what's yep. going to be die cut out. It's going to be basically the waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it with my low-tack tape within this part here. Yep. Now, our low-tack tape, with the combination of the pressure with the Gemini, sometimes it can just take a fine layer of your cardstock off. So therefore, if you stick it into what would be a waste area, you don't have that worry about it tearing maybe any of the decorated parts. And this is why I want my original Gemini. Because of the width way that we are cutting it, yeah. we need to have that larger mouth of the Gemini. So what we're going to do is because you've got some decorative detail, some intricate parts, I always like to put my metal shim in with anything that is around the create a card aspect, yeah. which this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in. So it's the same plate configuration like all your die cutting. All that I'm doing is adding my metal shim. So it's base cut and plate, metal shim, card die, plastic, magnetic, and then top plate. So what we can then do is we can then run this one through the Gemini. Yep, I love that noise. That's and a healthy noise, right? It's a healthy noise, absolutely. Because what you'll find with pretty much all of these dies, there's a lot of straight edge die layers. So you know, there's some curvature, there's some florals, there's some roundness, but there's also a lot of straight edges. What you will find either in new plates or well-loved plates, those straight lines, because they're going straight into the plastic, yeah. you're hearing that cracking, and it is normal. So don't worry about it and don't fear about it. So what I can then do is I'm going to come in with my 
Toki tool and let's remove the tape and what I'm not going to do just yet is remove the full die because yep. we're going to do some inking because all of these areas within the tree trunk, you've got all of these areas here that is the leaves and the foliage. What will happen is that's actually cardstock, that stays in place. Right. So we're going to use it as a stencil and we're going to ink over the top. I forget you can do this with dice it's every single so time. So good. Me. It's so good. Yeah. Certainly with these ones here. Now what I've done is I've taken a few of my own colours from our water reactive. I've used Friar Brown, Fuchsia and Grasshopper. On the show, we also have some of our metallic ink pads. Yeah. We've got some sparkle pens. So that would look lovely as well if you want to start to come in and do colour washes or even pinpoint some of the area with some yeah. of the sparkle pens. You absolutely can. But once again, I wanted to just rein this craft along in just a little bit for anyone that's relatively new to us at Crafters Companion. So what I'm going to do is, as I say, Friar Brown, Fuchsia and Grasshopper. So let's go in with the Fryer Brown and I'm going in with my blending tool. I like to use my square one. Believe it or not, it is called square, despite the fact it's a it's rectangle. rectangle. Yeah. Uh, or it's a circle one. It's entirely up to you what you feel comfortable with. And then what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to go to the top part yeah. of my blending tool and I'm going to then go in and I'm going to start to colour. I'm not worried about going into this bit here yeah. because this is actually waste right. this bit. So let's take that out just so that you can yeah, see. Yeah. So it wouldn't matter if I got ink onto those bits. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and then what I'm going to do is ink with the Fryer Brown. So we're going to go into all of these little bits. Don't forget as well, you know, we were given our fingers in our hands for a reason. So yep. if you want to go in with all of these little bits with your fingers as well, you can do. Yep. But, you know, you will find you'll get a nice coverage with the blending tools. And then I'm pinpointing sections. So I'm having a look. I can see by uh, my eye we've got the tree trunks here. Yep. The other thing that you can do, and I'm going to do it just so that I can show you, before I finish colouring all the remaining part, if for whatever reason your dye comes away before you've done the inking, yeah. don't worry about it because you can slot it back in. And sometimes that makes it easier for you to see what you're going to be colouring. Yeah. So I'm going to use our dye tool that are in that bundle and I'm going to give it a really good uh, covering of the brush tool. Perfect. Taking out all these little bits and then what will happen is taking all these little bits out here, any little bits, I'm going to use my pokey tool to pop out and what you will find is you're going to have this excess card still in play. So yeah. what I need to do, bring in my scissors and here at the bottom what I'm going to do is snip up to finish that one off. Yep. So we've got that one and exactly the same at the top. Ah, okay. Snip that one. Yep. That's then going to release all Perfect. of that excess. So we are now left with that nice. outline. So it stayed in place, but we've got all that surrounded part taken away. Love that. So then what I'm going to do is again to show you in case maybe uh, the die pops out, what you can do is go back in. I'm going to take this little bit out there. So if I go back in and then give it a bit of maneuverability with your hand and that locks in. Yeah. So I can feel it and try it at home. You'll see what I mean. Just move it about and then it locks. So I know it's back in place. So if I want to secure it a wee bit more with my low tack tape, I can. I'm going to put a bit to the side. And now I can go back comfortable in the knowledge that it's not going to move again. It's locked in place. And what I can do is finish off colouring all of these little bits around the dye. Yeah. And with it being a dye, it's not going to damage your dye going no, over the ink. Clean it straight away after, can't Absolutely, you? Yeah. yeah. Clean it straight away, damp cloth. I know uh, more and more we are um, going away from using baby wipes. Yeah. But if you are using baby wipes, then of course you can uh, wash them as well, Perfect. you know, and then reuse them. And that's uh, going to be a good way to clean your dyes. And is this dye got embossing parts on it as well? It does. Perfect. So I'm glad that you said that. 
because what I like to do when it comes to anything that's die cut and inking with colour, yeah. you can die cut, emboss and then colour. Strangely though, what I like to do is cut, colour and then emboss. Yeah. I find, I don't know what it is George, I just find you get more of a roundness. I don't know if it's because the ink is seeping into the cardstock yeah, yeah, makes it a little bit more flexible yeah, yeah, yeah. and then therefore it gives you a much nicer emboss. But what I'm doing is I'm going into these last little bits with the Fryer Brown. Then what I'm going to do is jump to my Grasshopper and then I'm going to have a look at all of these little leave areas yeah. here. And what we're going to do is we're crossing over. And what I'm not concerned about is if I get any bits of green that go over onto the tree trunks, I'm yeah. not worried. You know, it's nature. You yeah. get all these different colour tones working together. So I think sometimes we, we try and be too perfect. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't look perfect because no. you're trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just take a step back and just have fun. I think we had that conversation a few weeks ago when I said, I can't do random you know when yeah. random looks good when people can just do things like i've got a friend who's got plants in their kitchen and they have them organized in such a way it looks random but it, it looks so well presented whereas i if i tried doing that i couldn't do that but you say it's just, like you just said there it is not about thinking it it's just doing it and just then, doing it yeah absolutely and when it comes to things like that if if it really doesn't look right or you just can't get the gist of it only a bit of cardstock. Yeah. Now, of course, we don't like wasting things, but it's cardstock, we can put it in the recycling. So don't worry too much. But yeah, just try not think about it. Just go in, apply the colour or whatever it is that you're doing, and then you'll be able to get a nice random effect. But I'm going to go in with the love hearts here. This is now the fuchsia. Yeah. So we're going to overlay them, and I'm going to go into these little flower heads, and I'm going to pick out these ones. Let's go in with the heart, and then I think, let's just, oh, there we go, we've got a couple here. That is gorgeous, I love this. It's so, uh, it's so therapeutic. Yeah. It's so fun to do by pinpointing certain areas, but what it's also good at is really bringing it to life. Yeah. Because you're, you're bringing its own color, you know, you're making it look completely different. I'm going with what would be the autumn tones, but you could make it look as though it's summertime. You know, you could add little die-cut flowers and really make it as if it is a, a wedding card, you know, yeah. as if they are, uh, you know, just underneath it. They're maybe getting their wedding photos taken yeah, and they're on the swing that's underneath with the bushes of flowers and that. You can have a play with your uh, creativeness. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to then finish off a wee bit more. And don't be scared to remove the die have a look and then you'll see how easy it is to slot back in. If you want to add more colour, then you can do. So let's take that one off and then let's take that one off. So we're going to peel that one away. And then if I remove that one, oh, wow. we've got... Don't worry about these little bits here because we're going to cover it up with our sentiment. Perfect. But what we've then got is we've got all that colour all the way around. We've coloured the leaves and that as well and even along the base here. So that's setting the scene when it comes yeah. to the colour. So what I'm going to do now is once again, let's go back. I'm going to slot it in and this is where I'm going to emboss it, George. Right. And this is what I mean by, for me, personally, I like to do the embossing last. Yeah. So I'm going to bring in my plates once again. So what I'm going to do, base cutting plate, I'm going to bring in my rubber embossing mat. Now I'm just using my A5 one because I don't really need the full A4 no. one because it's only to cover that area. So making it sure it's all slotted into place, no problem. So embossing is plastic shim. Yep. Never put in the magnetic sheet right. with the embossing mat. So it's plastic and then it's top plate and then we're going to run that one through. So feed it through. So just something always to remember when you're embossing with the mat, you never have the embossing mat and the magnetic sheet in at the same time. No. Never. And, and what so, happens if you did? Like, would it ruin? It's too much. So what will happen is the Gemini being the Gemini would just stop and yeah. just spit it out and say, no, it's too much. The only thing with that is, you know, you want to protect your Gemini. So you don't want to give it unnecessary pressure. Yeah. Now, it won't break 
the Gemini, but if you were to keep doing that time and time and time yeah. again, then there's potential that you are going to damage your Gemini. So, um, in other words, you know, helping yeah. the Gemini. So you look after it, it, it'll look after you. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what we've done here, and this is where it's always hard to see on screen. So once you're doing it at home, you're going to notice the difference. I can feel into all of this little detailed parts here. Yeah. It's all embossed, it's all rounded. I'm not sure if we can see the deboss from the back. So I'm going to stay oh, yeah. still for a second. And then we've got all of this deboss all the way around here, in with it. Ah, oh, look at that. So where my finger is there, pink eight, look there we that. go. So all the way down there, into all of these bits here, we've got all that deboss into the heart all the way around. So it's not something you have to do, but I would highly recommend doing the embossing. The yeah. Details there, so why not do that? So I think, George, now yes. that we've done that main basis, basic part, what we can then do is maybe take a break, let anyone yep. catch up. That was, I scored at the halfway mark, which was six inch, and then I scored at the three inch. We folded, we ran it through our Gemini, and we used the fuchsia, grasshopper, and fryer brown to do a bit of colouring. That's where we're at at the moment. I can get myself reset for the next bit, and then we can come back and carry on. Absolutely. Don't forget as well, if you're thinking, oh, it's going way too fast for me, this. Don't worry, you can pause us, take it in your own speed. There is no pressure to keep up with us at all. Do this at your own pace. Every single one of us, it works a little bit differently. So take it in your own pace. Do not be afraid to pause it. And remember, ask the questions and our wonderful social team will try and answer them the best that they can. Also, throughout the week, until tomorrow midnight, we've got this amazing Get It Got It Good deal. Yes, you see us use it time and time again. It's the wonderful Gemini Accessories Complete Plate Collection. Again, so many different plates in here. You've seen Craig using them already today. You've got the clear cutting plates, you've got the plastic shims, the magnetic shims, that wonderful rubber embossing map, the metal cutting plate and the plate storage bag. Brilliant to use within your Gemini every single day and an incredible price as well. £40, $60, and look at that incredible platinum price. Remember, Club Inspire, our way of saying thank you for shopping with us. Every single time that you purchase, you get points. Remember, on your first purchase alone with Club Inspire, you're going to get 20% off straight away and get taken to bronze status, meaning that all your future orders and get you 5% off. After that, you're going to have silver, which is 500 points. You'll get 10% off all your orders. You move up to gold with 750 points, meaning you get 15% off. And we'll make platinum when you've got 1,500 points, meaning that every purchase, and I mean every purchase, you get 20% off. But it is our wonderful craft along. We are working with our own brilliant Creator Card die collection with 26 elements. The balance collection, as we like to call it. We've got this amazing bundle. In here, you've got all these beautiful designs in here. You have got the wonderful Butterfly Wishes, Forever Yours, Shine Bright, Raise Your Glasses, Love Birds, and Save the Date. Plus that incredible brush tool and foam pad, allowing you to knock all those little bits out once it's been through your Gemini. $97.99, $118.95. You can buy them individual. Head to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com. Dot eu and remember as well that is the brilliant multi buy if you just want to buy a couple of them you can get a great deal two for 35 pounds or 41 dollars but at that incredible bundle price if you buy the bundle here in the uk and eu you're saving yourself over 20 percent and over in the states you are saving 20 percent but are you all ready for the next stages craig let's do it Let's go for it. So what we're going to do is, let's bring back in our ink layer that we've done. Yep. Now, you will find that that is uh, five and three quarters from mm -hmm. the left to the right, five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our cardstock, and I've gone in for uh, this tone here that we can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. So I said it was five and three quarters. So I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut at five and a half inches. And then I also said it was eight and a quarter. So I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch and cut to eight inches. So what that's going to do is that's going to give me a panel that's slightly smaller than my base layer underneath. 
Yep. So what we can then do is we're going to bring back in the die and what we're going to do is very similar to what we've done within the card base. Yep. I'm going to pop it up to the right hand side and right up as far as it will go to the top here. Okay. And what I'm away to do now, because this is a separate individual layer, this would go through your Gemini Junior or yep. your Gemini Midi. Perfect. The reason, of course, I use the large Gemini is because of the width way that I put this one through. So Lovely. we went that way, hence why we used our large Gemini. But what I'm going to do once again, I'm going to tape it down. And this is the one from the Garden Party collection. Yep. And still, with it being nicely detailed, I'm still going to use my metal shim because it is habit. So we're going to pop that one in and then plastic magnetic and then top plate so what we can then do is we can then feed it through what i tend to do is of course when i'm using the junior i'll always use the junior plates because that's the only ones we've got that'll fit the junior yeah. the large gemini i know um debbie and uh, fiona actually all of them will tend to use the large gemini with the junior plates which you, which you can do but it's it's very weird the way my my mind or my head works yeah george i'm very much i use the product that's designed for the item yeah so although i can use the junior plates with the large gemini i'm very much always inclined to use the large plates for yeah, the large gemini. do you know what i mean yeah, I yeah, use what it's designed for yeah, yeah yeah um i don't know why i do that but it's just something that i do do i do that in all you can eat buffet <laughs> i always go for the largest plate because that's what they want you to do at an all-you-can-eat buffet, yeah. is to eat as much as you to can. Eat as you can. And that's why you need the larger plates at an all-you-can-eat buffet. See. You don't get this figure by not doing that, mate. Trust me, that's it. I've, I've not been to one of them for ages. What, an all-you-can-eat buffet? Yeah. Oh, I'm there every day. Toby Carvery breakfast, that's all I'm saying. Here in the UK, if you know, you know. Oh. Toby Carvery breakfast. You see, we... I'm not going to say we don't have them in Scotland, but we've got very, very few if we do have them. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'll maybe need to go hunting for one then. Is there one in the area? That's what we'll need to see, yeah. There's got to be one. Erin, producer Erin's in. She's, she's all the way from the, the uh, good old America. Uh, have you been to Toby Carvery, Erin? You've not been? Oh. You've been here in the UK for how long now? You've not been to Toby Carvery? You don't even know what it is? That's how you get the visa to be here. You've got to go to Toby Carvery. Right, that's it. Team day out to Toby Carvery. I'm it serves Carvery. That. It's in the name. By a guy called Toby. He's there. It's meat, unless you're a vegetarian. I mean, there is, you can have vegetables, but there's as much veg, there's as much like potatoes and, and Yorkshire puddings and gravy. I'm northern, so gravy, uh, as, as you want. It's. I'm so. People, people say, what, what would your personal heaven look like? That is it. Meat, That's veg, it. and gravy. That's all I want in life. That's it. I could, I could, um, um, I could agree with that one, for sure. Maybe a bit of ice cream. Just a bit of ice cream. Just for afters. To wash it all down with. So now what I've done here is taken that layer, I ran that die through, so popped it through. I don't need to emboss this one or ink this one because it's going to be a little bit of a drop shadow on the background. So you don't need to do any of that excess embossing. So what I am going to do for something like this, I do like to use my tacky glue, which is in the little small applicator. If you would rather use your dotty tape runner or that, yeah. you absolutely can do. It's entirely up to yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way all the way around. And I'm not being overly precise. I'm making sure that I've got a little bit of the tacky glue in each of the areas. Because remember, your wet glue, it spreads. So you don't need to get onto every single part. Yeah. Because it will spread out and it will adhere to the base layer. So I'm going all the way around the back of this die cut. And then what we can then do is come back in with the layer that we've cut. So I'm going to go all the way around here. And then what I'm also going to do, so I'm going to come just to this edge here. Yeah. I'm not going to go right up to the fold of the card. I want to catch it just on the edge. Then what I'm going to do is finish off along the base here. And once again, I'm going to come along, work my way around the love hearts and the florals. Don't worry about this. Although it's tacky, it will still stay wet long enough yep. for you to come along and adhere it. And let's give it a little bit of a squiggle all the way around, down to that love heart. And now what I can then do is I'm going to come in. What I'm going to do 
to make it a little bit easier for you to see, George, let's yeah. put it on a bit of black underneath. Oh, wow. And then all that I'm doing yeah. is what I like to say is I'm holding it, I'm hovering over the top. Then what I like to say is hover, bang on over the top. Yeah. And then what to do is just come down to the bottom right hand side slightly. Yeah. So I'm hovering right over the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down to this right hand side. Yeah. So hover and pull down so we, we get that bit of a drop shadow. And then what I can do is press. So once I've got it where I need to go, yeah. I can then hold it and I can press it. So now that I'm happy enough that that's in place, I'm going to use my hand, and give it a really, really good press. That's going to be nice and secure. So if yeah. I bring this in just once more so you can see, Oh, what wow. we've then got is not only is it a drop shadow, but you've got that pearlescent drop shadow yeah. if you are using the cardstock that I'm using. And it also stabilizes your card blank because yeah. it's going to sit upright. Perfect. So that's two layers of roughly 300 GSM each. So it's going to really stabilize your card layer. So I think what we can do at this moment, I'm going to set that one to the side. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in our plates once again. And then we're going to go in with the same die set, yeah. but we're going to bring in the man and the lady swinging on that little garden chair, a tree chair, garden chair, tree chair. What we can then do is then come in with another bit of that green. What we can then do as well, bringing in some of this gorgeous peach. So let's bring this one. So I'm going to cut just a little bit because we don't need much so we've got the man and lady what we've then got is the forever yours so this one what i'm going to do is come in with a little bit of white smooth card that one forever yours which is there and together forever let's let's just use this bit of peach here oh just cool this Really, really nice colours as well, isn't it? Yeah. Nice to bring in a little bit of pastel tones. I think sometimes when we start to go into the autumn or the fall and then the winter, we go for more of your darker colours. Yeah, yeah. Which, nothing wrong with that, because I love those colour tones throughout uh, the autumn, fall season. Mm -hmm. Certainly going into your Thanksgiving yeah, and that. Yeah. But also... Still nice to bring that pastel and that bit of bright tones to the autumn and winter time. Let's face it, not everyone loves autumn and winter time. So just bringing a bit of brightness into their life with your cardstocks, your projects, can make a difference and make them smile. The best thing about fall, autumn, is when you just stand on that crunchy leaf. Oh, you know when yeah. you get that good yeah. crunchy leaf? That good leaf, it's a good leaf, you know what I mean? Um, Erin, producer Erin, she topped me on the Toby Carvery, the Brazilian restaurants where you sit at the table and they come round with the meat and then you've got a yellow and green card to say if you want more meat. They are perfect. I love that though, with the man and woman on the swing. It's just Very there, good. Really good. You can see them just swinging just there at the bottom. Then what you've got is our sentiment here. So if I then pop this one so we've got forever and then we're going to then take yours so if i take forever yours here and then we're going to go together forever just put it to the black sponge layer just so that you can see so what we can do is pop that one there so we've got together forever man and lady forever yours i need to cut that again but we're going to do that in the peach so we're going to cut another little square off and what i'm also going to do at this point george is i'm going to dip into my other one yeah and which is the butterfly wishes right but all that i'm wanting is the butterfly I okay. don't actually want the full lot. Yeah. So that goes to show you can have a look and see what other elements you've got within the other dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just take sections and take little bits and use them within your projects. So what I'm going to do again, let's snip this bit. So what I'll do is before I die cut this one, 
what I'm going to do is do just a very quick recap of what I've cut. Yeah. So we've come in here and we've used the man and the lady, we've cut within that, I'm just going to call it green cardstock. Yeah. We've gone together forever within the peach. We've die cut the yours forever in white smooth stamping card. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in again with the same die, cut it in the peach, and we're going to go in with the butterfly yeah. and we're going to cut this one. I am going to secure it just to make sure it doesn't move. And then we can then bring in our plates. We can run this one through and then we can start to assemble that mid part. Yeah. We're going to do a couple of mats and layers just to the edges of the car, just to finish it off at the sides. But we can do that in a moment or two. But we can bring this one out bring it in and there's nothing to say that uh, you can't mix and match yeah by what I mean by that is you might want to use the uh, the one that we are using the di the main die that we're using which is the forever yours but you might want to have a butterfly hanging in the middle you might want to have one of the other ones it's up to yourself there's the one with the bird on it so you could have that one so just have uh, a little bit of a play die cut you know what you could do die cut them all out in some cardstock, yeah. lay them out in front of you and have a, a little pl bit of a place here. That one could go with yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, that one can go with that one, and then just bring them all together in that way. So it's uh, it's nice to see how they can come together and work absolutely. together. And I love you've got them interchangeable elements as well, the different statements, you know, they're just, they're taking, you've got the same die, but you're not making the same card every single time. You've no. got different statements, interchangeable, and he quotes them that he's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love them. I, I do as well. I remember it was a couple of weeks ago I was speaking to Debbie Fisher mm. and she was telling me about them. She'd got her hands on them. She was saying balancing, create a card. I'm like, balancing? Mm. She went, yeah, she went, they're really quite smart. She says, you've got an element that just balances within mm. the middle, you know, maybe a little bit of string or thread that will go over just shortly. And it's, it's something a little bit different as well. Yeah. You've got that movement, but you've got that free movement with the, the twine or the thread, however you choose to a full element. It. It's like the wobbler cards and something. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's got that fun element. And it's that one when it's sitting on the mantelpiece or on the table that whenever anyone passes, they're going to see, well, whenever anyone passes, what they're going to get is that little waft of the air. It's going to move. It's going to catch their eye. They're going to yeah. have a look and play, see who's made it. And then you never know, they might contact you and say, I've seen an an and a Teresa that you made that card for. It was so cool. Could you do me one? You'd be like, yeah, of course you can. Have you got mm -hmm. an Auntie Teresa? Or you... uh, I, I don't actually, oh, no. I, I just I just wonder where Teresa came from. I don't know where. I was I was actually waiting to say Auntie Betty, and I just thought that just seems very cliche. Yeah, I'm Auntie saying, Betty. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, let's go Teresa. I don't know where Teresa came from. I don't know a Teresa, or in my family anyway. I used to work with one years Who ago. Is she all right? Is she good? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I've not seen her since I've, I've moved here. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Lovely lady. Hey, Dr. Teresa. Lady. Find Craig on Facebook. Just type in Craig, Crafter's Companion. Yeah, you'll if find you are him. watching, I hope you're okay. If you're yeah. not, then... Okay. Let's carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've got now is here is our card. It's not awkward at all. We've got our card here, and then as I say, because we've got the double layer, it's then going to make it nice and sturdy. Yeah. So what we can then do is, uh, we've got our sentiments, and then we're going to bring in the lady and the man. And once again, what we're going to do is bring in our tacky glue. Yeah. What I'll do is let's do it on the black again, just to make it a little bit easier for you to see. And we're going to do another drop shadow. Perfect. Please don't think you have to do drop shadows. Mm -hmm. You know, your card is still going to be sturdy enough. The design of the balancing aspect is still going to be sturdy enough with one layer. But you'll know it's something that I tend to do more and more is a little bit of a drop shadow. It's mm -hmm. amazing just that little bit of a difference that it gives. It gives it that kind of faux. Yeah. Um, that bit of a faux shadow without a real shadow on the mantelpiece. But what we can do, exactly the same, so hover and bring it down to the bottom right. And then what we can then do is secure that. And you'll find that you'll still have the area, although you're doing a drop shadow, you've still got plenty of room to run some ribbon or thread yeah. through the little loops. So we're going to get that into place. 
once I'm happy with that, we can press, securely press. And this one, this element here, easily cut it maybe onto your double-sided adhesive sheets. Yeah, yeah. So that would be no problem. So I'm happy enough with that one. So we've got that, let's just press that bottom bit into place here. So I'm going to move all that to the side. I'm going to move my butterfly. I'm going to do all that just shortly. But we're going to do, I think actually, because we're away to move on to a separate bit, I'll just re-go over that bit, maybe take a break, George, yep. and then we can then move on to the next section. So we cut the butterfly, that one was from the other die set, which was the Butterfly Wishes within the green cardstock. Man and Lady, we've done it in the green and also the peach. We've done Forever Yours in the peach, and, uh, sorry, Forever Together in the peach, Forever Yours into the white cardstock, done that bit of a drop shadow, and now that's ready for us to then move on to the next bit uh, in a moment or two. Absolutely, loads of uh, goodies as well in this show. Mixed cardstock as well, that could be yours today. Uh, we're starting first with our wonderful silver colour. It's a gorgeous colour, it's uh, 12 by 12. There are 200 for GSM. There are 12 sheets of each. You have got the wonderful matte silver, I say matte silver, it's got that pearlescent there. And also that wonderful spill, speakle? Sparkle. Spiegel. There be the spiegel. And we've asked uh, 19 dollars 29 I'm getting paid 45 today. Then you've also got in here the rose gold as well. Again, you've got the same features, that beautiful pearlescent you see there. And then you've also got the sparkle as well. Look at that, the spiegel. It's beautiful. Nine, nine, 19 $19.99, $20.95. And also, you've also got the glittering gold. Again, with the wonderful pearlescent. Look at that. I blend into that. And you've also got this. I love this. I think this is my favourite. It's like a, it looks like a dirty gold, I think. Like it's got a bit of black in there. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, like, not like gold, like, ah, oh, gold. But like, a bit of... It's got a bit of black in there. Yeah, a bit rustic. Vintage. Vintage. Thank you, Erin. She knows what I'm on about. She's on my wavelength. She knows what I mean. Uh, all priced at $19.99, $20.95. There's also some great colours as well. Bright colours. That A4 luxury uh, cardstock. You can see it shining. Again, different stand, different kinds of designs. You've got a beautiful purple that you see there. You've got the darker purple, the dirty purple, and you've also got the wonderful shimmering as well. You can see it there, that mirror. At uh, $9.99, $15.95. Same with the red as well. You've got that kind of same style within the red. All there, that's how it arrives to you today. You'll see it there, the different kinds of style. You've got that beautiful red glitter, the mirror, and then more of a matted mirror at the bottom there. Again, $9.99, $15.95. And again, you've also got a brilliant black mat card. You can't go wrong with black matte cards. Remember, you can get any four for thirty dollars or forty uh, thirty pounds, forty two dollars if you are wanting that. Also, you've seen Craig using the glue all day, all purpose glue. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. 400 millilitres of all purpose glue. At that incredible price of £8.97, $11.85, you're saving yourself 25%. How that works is that you're buying for paying for three, you're getting one for free. A great deal. You can never have enough perfect time to stock up on your all-purpose glue. Uh, guys, we're giving you a chance to catch up. Relax, get a cup of tea, have a biscuit, and we'll see you on the other side of this. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters' companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV, 
With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. And yes, we are creating every day right now. Yes, it is Craft Along with me, George Aiken. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday, wherever you are in the world. Now, today, we are not live. Can you imagine if we were? Uh, it's uh, pre-recorded. So, guys, unfortunately, I can't answer any of your questions, but our wonderful social team are getting involved with you and keep chatting to each other. I know how much you guys talk to each other every single day. It's a beautiful family we've got here at Crafters Companion. Keep saying hello, keep checking in with everybody. And today, we are looking at our brand new, they released a couple of weeks ago, the Everyday Credit Card Die Elements. Uh, there are over 26 different elements within these, plus in this wonderful bundle, you'll get in the die brush and the foam pad as well. You you have got butterfly wishes forever yours shine bright raise your glasses love birds save the day and like i said you're getting that dye brush tool and foam pod pads as well now remember as well if you want to buy them individually you don't want to buy the entire bundle you can do uh, head to the website crafterscompanion.com .co.uk.eu. Alternatively, we've got that multi-buy, any two for £35, $41. But at that bundle price, if you buy the entire bundle, you're saving yourself here in the UK and EU over 20%, and over in the States, just about 20%. Uh, let's take a close look at the different designs. Craig's working with our wonderful uh, man and woman couple today. We're starting, first of all, with this wonderful, the save the date. Again, you see the swinging element inside it. There it is, spinning round. Um, Again, a great little addition. It's absolutely stunning. That is to save the date. You've also got the butterfly wishes as well. Again, it's a brilliant little fun element within your card. And it's been paper pieced back together. I think it's so unique and such a great little concept. You might not want to use it as a um, element in the middle which balances. You may want to stick it on. This is being stuck on with magic, no, I'm joking, acetate. But you see there, you've still got the element, and if you wanted to make it spin, you've got the part where you can tie it there and then tie it to the top up here. That is the beautiful Razy Glasses. Then, the wonderful one that Craig's using today with a man and woman couple there, to together forever, again, forever yours. There they are, on their swing, having a great time living life on the sunset. Uh, again, that's what you're making today with Craig. Then you've also got the wonderful shine, uh, everyday Shine bright. Let me start again. Put my teeth back in. Shine bright. Again, you can see it's not been there. It's not in the middle balance and it's been stuck onto the back of the card. But so many uses for these cards. And finally, the lovebirds. Again, I love these. Ooh, ooh, as uh, I've got to do every time I show this. Again, made on that beautiful cardstock. Again, a great collection and a great design. $97.99, $118.95. But how are you doing? Are you keeping up? Remember, pauses. Don't feel like you've got a rush. Take your time. You can do this in your own pace. And remember, if you've not ordered these today, we're going to be here. Save this show to your playlist. Come back and watch us whenever you're ready to craft along with myself and Craig. Right, what are we doing next, Craig? Right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in with the man and the lady. Then on the show today, we've also got the sparkle pens. So what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a clear one. And then what I'm also going to do, once again, let's just do it on black because it's always easier for uh, you to see on black. I'm going to come in with our clear overlay and what we're going to do is add some sparkle to the man and the lady. So I'm just going to make sure we've got a nice free flowing coverage with the sparkle, which we do. So what I'm going to do is, in, in a way, it's like painting over the top yeah. with a brush pen. And what this will do 
is, first off, to your eye, it will look as though it's got a nice clear coverage, but when it starts to move in the balance of the card, what will happen is you'll get that nice little sparkle that then sparkles away. So mm -hmm. it's uh, another nice little uh, look to the card. So it's what it's about, it's given it different dimensions from the ink that we've put on to the bit of sparkle, we've got the drop shadow effect, we've got the actual shaped concept of the card as well. Yeah. So a lot of different areas for the eye to focus on. So colouring over the top, and like I said, at first you're not going, to, as you're doing this, you're not going to think, oh, there's not much happening to it, but once it dries, and again, it's all about that movement. Yeah. So I'm going to see if we can maybe... Oh, wow. So you can start... To, there we go. So if they come in that way... So you've seen it there. We'll go look at that. And then that will still dry a little bit more. And yeah. then that sparkle will come all the way through. So I'm going to set that one to the side. I'm also going to bring in the Forever Yours, which is white cardstock. And we're going to do exactly the same onto the butterfly as well. So we're going to colour... I'm using the clear overlay for all of them. Yeah. But if you want it to come in with any of the other ones, you could do. Or with also having the Midas metallic ink pads. Yeah, you great could shout. Cover them, yeah, cover yeah, your absolutely. sentiment with them if you want. And what you could even do, if you really want to go to town, because the Midas ink pads are pigment. Yeah. Colour your sentiment mm -hmm. with the ink pads, cover them with a clear embossing powder. Whoa, You're going yes. to get that uh, clear embossed look, but it's really going to enhance whichever metallic ink pad you've used. So pop that one to the side, and then with this one again, with the butterflies, I'm going to give it a really nice covering. And this is what's really, really enhancing the cardstock, because it's already pearlescent, and now you're coming on with more sparkle, and it just makes it look wow. So colouring in, putting a piece of uh, cardstock or something underneath if you want to catch all that yep. excess. But once you're done, happy enough with that one, and similar to the man and the lady, what will happen after it's dry, you've got that. At first, it's more like a clear coating effect, which yep. in some ways it is. But once it's dried in, you get that sparkle that just stands out. So we're going to pop that to the side. I'm not going to put my pens too far away just yet because we're going to use them briefly in a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come in with a guillotine now. Let's come in with uh, one of the excess pieces of the green cardstock that I've got. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut at two and a half inches. So I'm cutting two and a half inches. Yeah by eight inches. So I've got my side panel. And then still with the garden party, what I want is I want part of this edge here. Yeah. Because I want that floral that we can see. So because this is two and a half inches, I want to come down a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut at two and a quarter. So I'm lining that at the two and a quarter mark. And then I'm going to cut and because we went up to the eight inch, mm -hmm. once again, I need to come down a quarter of an inch to seven and three quarters. So I'm not going to cut just yet. I'm going to hold this up. I'm going to come to the seven and three quarters. And I'm happy. So if I turn it that way, this is what we're going to see. Yeah. Which I'm happy with that. But if anything, actually, George, I don't want this top part. I no. want it all floral. So what I'm going to do... So let's turn it around and I'm going to snip the top part so that I've snipped right Perfect. to the top of the yeah, floral yeah. leaves. Now I'm going to come in at seven and three quarters and that's pretty much given me that full yeah. panel of floral. So that is then, actually I'm not going to pop that away because I still need it. I We're think it's important with your paper pads that you get the best out of them. Exactly. Because they're so unique in some of them that you want to get the best bit of the paper pad. Everyone's got different tastes on that, what they think the best bit You're is. You're right. You're right. And don't be scared to cut in or chop bits to get the area that you yeah. want. You know, you can then start to use it as a little banner or a little bunting tags, you know, on your smaller projects. Mm -hmm. But yeah, feel free, cut into it to get the design that you yeah, want. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's only a bit of uh, cardstock pattern paper. 
So still with this green cardstock, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of panels here. So I'm going to come along and I'm going to come right to that one inch mark. So I'm lining up at the one inch mark and we're going to cut. And then I'm going to turn this one around and I'm going to cut at five and a quarter. So we've got that one. So five and a quarter mm -hmm. by one inch. So that can go to the side. And then what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to come down to three quarters of an inch. So I'm lining it up at the three quarters of an inch. And then what we're then going to do is coming in and I'm then going to cut at the eight and a quarter, which is there. So once again, that was eight and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. And then what I'm going to do, bringing in my sheet again and what I'm going to do I'm not overly concerned which part I get for this because I just need another little slither yeah so this one's going to be half an inch strip so we're coming in at the half an inch here and also at eight and a quarter so I'm going to come up to eight and a quarter so let's line that one up here so half an inch by eight and a quarter, and that's what's then going to layer into the middle here. So if I set that to the side for now, so I can put all these bits, all these bits out the way here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with my clear sparkle overlay. Yeah. And then what we can start to do is pick out little areas. To me, it looks like is it maybe like a hydrangea or something. Something like that. Something like that, isn't it? I'm not good with the florals. The flower, that's all I know. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I know I like the base. I like a poppy, a daisy, yeah. a tulip. I know they're one. Yeah. But, but no, the other ones, I've got a clue. Some of them I just don't have a clue either. Weeds, I know weeds very good, dandelions. Damn, that's it really for weeds. They're, what, they're good? They're good things to have, are they? Well, you can eat dandelion leaves. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't know. Yeah, you can drink, and you can drink uh, dandelion and burdock. Great, I love dandelion and burdock. So that actually got dandelion in it, though? I don't know. It's a pop soda here in the UK. I love how you say pop. Pop. See, and everyone here, it must be a, either an English thing or... A, well, how a, do you say it? Fizzy juice. Fizzy juice? Yeah. Yeah, see, the reaction I've just had in my ear is a reaction I get from everyone. They're like, no, it's not, it's pop. It's pop. It's fizzy juice. It's juice, it's fizzy. Because you're a fully grown adult, that's why. Fizzy juice, fizzy juice sounds like what you'd say if you were like, if you were a little... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, the other way round, pop is what you'd say to a little child. Oh, do you want some pop? No, you can do it with some fizzy juice. No, you don't. You do. No, an adult would say, ah, oh, yeah, can you just get me a fizzy juice there, please? A fizzy juice sounds like drinking a pop. champagne. Yeah, Jock. Just give me a pop, will you? You're not going to do that. No, you don't. Can I have a coke? You know, can I have a coke? Get us a coke. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you would. I would say, yeah, get me a coke. But I would fizzy say, juice sounds like you've gone to the airport at six o'clock in the morning and you've gone. Shall we get on the fizzy juice? Like you're going to start drinking at six o'clock in the morning. That's what fizzy juice reminds me of. Should we have a couple of fizzy juices before we get on the plane? Well, why is it called pop? Because Sir Pop, when he invented it back in the 1800s. <laughs> Professor Pop. <laughs> right. Juice that's fizzy. That's why it's called fizzy juice. <laughs> I wish we were live. The comments we would get right now. The soda. We know what we mean with soda. We, that's what we should call it, soda. It is a make. Aaron's like, it's soda. That. It's soda. No R. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not the best at your American accent, Erin. Where else in America are you from, Erin? Whereabouts in America are you from? New England, see? And then you came to the old England, I love it. Um, right, our wonderful sparkle glitter brush pen, three piece, uh, there's a great deal on that today. Three within the collection, just forgetting the fizzy pop incident. Uh, 11 pounds 69, 12, uh, $15.25. I need new glasses, I've come to this conclusion, being here, I'm like, I've got good eyesight. And then I see the price on the screen, I'm like, what is that, $15.25. Five. Uh, I'm not as bad as our Ben. Ben's eyes. He, um, he's he, getting bad, isn't he's he? He's got very focals. And he's only 12. He's going to love you for that one. I know. He's going to love you for that. I'd say it to his face. 
I once met him once, and we, he, was, he had his glasses like this, right? Like a chat. I, I won't do it because I ain't got like, the kind of glasses, but he was doing it. I just walked in on him doing this once. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, my eyes are really big when I do that with my glasses. He's got two kids, just bear that in mind. Right, how is the, uh, I, do you know what I love is just this, using these in a different way. You're not covering the entire paper, nope. and that pen just gives you that, uh, what's the word, skill, that ability just to put the pen wherever you need it, put the glitter wherever you need it. That's it, and what I'm actually doing here is I'm following some of the direction of the florals that I've done on this one. I've done the same with the leaves as well. I've not gone and coloured all the leaves, I've just done highlights all yeah. the way around. And it's, once again, I know I said it earlier on, but it's about catching your eye. So as you walk past, you're going to get that nice little bit of a sparkle, but then that little bit of uh, air or wind as you walk past is going to then make that balancing aspect start to swing. So you've got a couple of different um, dimensional looks to them. But what I'm then going to do is go in, pinpoint certain areas with here, it's always harder to see on screen. If you're doing this at home, you can see, because I can clearly see we've got that nice mm. hint of the sparkle. I'm going to try it once more, but, you know, clear sparkle overlay. So I'm going to come that way. There we go. That is it. <laughs> you, the, Aaron and Adam are on one today. They've they been are. On, do you know what they've been on? They've been on the fizzy juice. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just a great addition of those sparkle pens. They make everything just that next level. It's they just do. a great idea. And they're water-based, so you can right. then come along and do your backgrounds with them. Some of the finished examples you were showing, George, mm. has had the sparkle being used on them. Could so you, you emboss with them? Could you, sorry, could you use the embossing powder on it? Would that uh, no, no, right. no. So they're not that sort of uh, wet. What yeah. that will actually do is if you were to try and put your embossing powders on, because it actually does dry too quick, yeah. what will happen is you'll end up with kind of like splodges of embossing powder. Right. So what you could do is then just go on with maybe your pigment or yeah. water reactive, something like that. Um, but, you know, there's always ways and mm. means around it. So I'm going to go in with my tape runner. So I've layered one of the panels up. And now this one, we can then layer up into here right to the top. So we've got a layer. I've got a slight bit of overhang here. So I'm going to snip that one off. So I've got my two panels. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back in with this green panel here. And we're going to use our tacky glue with the little applicator and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it as close to the middle as I can get it which I'm pretty happy with that and then we're going to go around I'm going to use my fine applicator mm -hmm. to get all these little pinpoint areas and although these sentiments come within the set you could be using some of your other ones as well if you've got like wedding ones or maybe your stamps that you've got you don't have to use the sentiment that comes with it. So we're going to press that one in. And if you do get a little bit of excess glue seeping out, don't worry, because it's our tacky glue, it'll dry completely clear. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about seeing that. But we're going to go in once again. For me, it's a personal preference with the tacky glue with any little fine die cuts. Yeah because you really can get into all the little areas. And it's not actually as time consuming as some people think. No. Because you don't actually have to get the glue completely over the back. Because yeah. as I explained earlier on, because it does spread out, you're going to get a full coverage. Straight away, yeah. Straight away. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in, taking any of the excess off. So we've got forever yours. We've got that nice sparkle popping through as well. So I'm going to press. So that's nice and secure. So what I can then do is I'm going to then move that one to the side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back in with this one here. And then what this will do is this will sit over the side just into this yeah. bit here. But what I want to do is take this one here. And this is what I was on about earlier on where if you do get any excess bit, don't worry yeah. too much because we're actually going to cover that one up. Right. So because the width of our card base at the back here is five and three quarters, we're going to take the green once again because the green on top of the peach 
works an absolute treat. So I'm going to move that one up. So what we're going to do is bring our guillotine in. I could have cut this earlier on when I'd done the other ones, but forgot. So we're going to come in and lost my train of thought now. What did I say that was? Five and three quarters. So I'm going to come to five and a half inches. And then I'm going to come all the way around to one inch. And cut. So that's one inch by five and three quarters. And what we can do now, we're going to do what we've done with the forever yours, mm -hmm. but together forever. That can then sit there and sit there. Nice little mat for it. You can, of course, go direct onto your card base with the sentiment, but to have a little mat underneath, it breaks it up and it makes the, stand, the sentiment stand out. Yeah. As much as you want the focal point to be completely on the balancing aspect, you don't want the sentiment to get completely lost. No, of course Because you want the recipient to see the, uh, the sentiment. So by popping it onto a layer underneath, it's going to make that happen, stand out. So let's come in with our pokey tool again. And I'm going to press that one in. We can go in with it together forever. And then we're going to add this one. So I think once I've attached this one, George, mm -hmm. if we take another moment or two... Yeah, absolutely. ...to recap, and then we can move on to the next section. Because I have more questions. Um, so what do you call what do you call dilute, like, out of the bottle, then? You know when it comes, like, when you put, when you put it in and then you add water? What do you call that? Diluting what? juice. Diluting juice. Diluting juice. That's diluting juice. Right. Because you dilute it with water. Okay, what do you call juice that's like made of oranges? Orange juice. Oh, just checking, okay. Oh, right, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, he's going to kill me later. Uh, I mean, I've, I've learned so much. I've just learned so much in my year. I've got little Adams in here. I've never worked with Adam before. And he's like, he's like little Mutley from Wacky Races, like, <laughs> all the way through, laughing at me, encouraging him, winding everybody up, you know. I know, hey, I've not even talked to you about last week's play crash right yet, mister. Okay. That was hard. That was hard last week's play crash right, Craig. Me and poor Jan, it was hard last week's play, cra play crash right. I, I won this today's play crash right, but I last week's play crash right. did tell me about that. Whatever. What happened? It was just, it was blinking hard is what it was. Was it? Was. Yeah. And tell it was me a about naughty word. Right? Only one person, uh, Jan got one right, and the only reason she got it right is because it was her doing it. That's why it was what happens next. Right. And the only reason she knew what happened is because it was her doing it. You featured in it with the ringing your bells. You and Ben ringing oh, bells. Oh, that was featured in it, was yeah. it? Ah. You're a good bell ringer, aren't you? I, I'm a really good bell ringer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really good. But here we go. That's me finished at that section for now. We've got our two panels. We've yep. got our die cut. We've got our butterfly and our little sentiment. And what we can do is take a little bit of a recap. So if you guys need to catch up with that, uh, and then we can come back and then we can start to assemble the card. Absolutely. It's time for a bit of sparkle in your life. We've got some brilliant sparkle pens. And you've seen the clear overlays, but actually they come in a range of different colours. We've got some brilliant packs. We'll start in first with this one. It's the essentials, okay? This is what you're seeing here. So you've got in here Aquamarine, Pink Garnet, and Firefly. The essential collection. They are brilliant. Now, all pens are priced at £11.69, $15.25. And at that price, you're saving yourself 10%. Then we have got the Soft Pastels, a great collection. You've got Rose Quartz, Soft Jade, Moonstone. And then you've got the Antique Vintage. Very nice collection. Fig, Peacock Blue, Macaroon. Um, is it Macaroon or Macaron? Oh, that's always the question that comes up. Macaroon. It's two O's, Macaroon. And Macaroon. Or is it Macarena? No. Uh, then you've also got the uh, Earthy Natural. That is brilliant. <laughs> Craig, don't start dancing the Macarena in my eye line. Right, Holly Leaf. <laughs> now, don't you stop. It's the it's the little chicken wobble. Uh, holly leaf. <laughs> we are professionals, by the way. I'd like to point that out. Uh, right, holly leaf, uh, smoke quartz, harvest moon. Then we are going tint and tone. 
<laughs> that sounds like hairdressers. Crystal clear, starry sky, and onyx black. Is I said that right? Onyx. What is an onyx? Is it an animal? Black. It's black. Oh, it's just. Oh, right. I just thought it's like a mythical creature. Uh, and then the overlays. You've seen Ben. Uh, ben Craig using these today. I mean, ben, you know, ben wouldn't know what he's doing with these. These are the clear overlays. These come in the three set. Again, all priced eleven pounds sixty nine, fifteen dollars twenty five. Saving yourself ten percent and that incredible platinum price. An extra twenty percent off. So thirty percent off if you are platinum. Then we've also got today our wonderful. Launch it launched a few days ago, a few weeks ago, should I say? And it's our uh, craft long today. It's the everyday credit card die collection. There are over 26 elements in this bundle, plus, for good measure, we're chucking in the die brush and the foam tool as well. You've got in here butterfly wishes, forever young, shine bright, raise your glasses, love bird, and save the day. Remember, you can buy them individual. Head to the website crafterscompanion.co.uk. Dot com dot eu to see the full range and see the prices for them individually but remember alternatively if you like a couple of them you got a multi-buy option where you get two for 35 pounds or two for 41 dollars but if you buy the bundle today where you get all six designs and that foam brush and foam pad you are going to be saving yourself a whopping 20 percent over in the states and here in the uk and over in europe it's going to take you a further just over 20 percent so a great saving to be had but are you all keeping up remember don't feel like you've got to keep up with us pause us take your time i'll pause i'll do like a little expression like that Right, on pause. Uh, here we go with the next stage of our craft line. Craig. Right, you <coughs> Pretty much now just starting to bring it all together yeah. and finishing off our card. So what we can do is we're going to come in and we've got our card base that we've gone and done the die cutting and the inking. So this is where what we're going to do is I'm going to come in with it together forever. And what I'm going to do is position that towards the bottom here because what will happen as well is what we will then do is then this is going to overlap just slightly. So as you open it, you get forever yours together forever, the way that it's been positioned like so. So what we're going to do is let's set all these bits to the side for now. I'm going to come in with our panel and I'm going to come in with our tape runner. So we're going to go all the way around, making sure we get good coverage in each of the bits. So let's bring this one back in. Always remember, because we're going back on itself, it's the front panel that we're going to stick it on. And then we're going to go in. We're going to line it up. And with this card, the way, it's, the way it looks, the way that it's designed, you see how we've got lots of white areas? This is why I've transferred those white areas into the left-hand side. So we've got quite a big white border all the way yeah. around now you can reduce that if you want that's entirely up to yourself but what i wanted to do is i wanted to pull all of that together so it's going to be pulled together when you've closed it but when you open it up it's bringing those white outlines all the way across and it just leaves little things that tie it all together and then we're then going to come in with our panel that we've cut and the reason we've cut it to that specific size is it's going to finish off that center piece as well it will overlap slightly, that's okay, that's fine. It's the way that it's been uh, created. So what I can then do is we can then go over side by side. So pop all of these layers down first before you bring in your sentiment. So we're gonna pop that one in. And before I press really, really firmly, I want to make sure that I'm not completely over the center bit, which I'm not, which means we're going to get a nice close over. So we've got our centre component in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the forever yours and together forever. What I'm also going to do, now this bit, it wasn't on the, the product list, the foam pads, but I'm just going to add a couple of layers of foam pads. Yeah. Keep it flat if you want, or of course, use your glue gel if you want. That's up to yourself. So let's put these ones on. And then what I'm going to do, if I start to layer these up, so I like to do all the layering first before we come along with our ribbon or our thread or our twine and start to create the balance movement. Yeah. So once again, what I'm doing is I'm leaving a little bit of a mat and layer towards the top and or the bottom and the right hand side. And it nicely sits within that base layer. This one, what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over as a guide so I know where I'm position it because I don't want to cross over like that 
I want to get this one here. And the reason being, kind of again, the way that I measured them, I created them, is so that it does say forever yours together forever, but when it's closed, it looks as though it said forever yours forever. Yep. So, you know, you've still got that little bit of play on words if you want. And then what we're going to do is let's bring that back in. So on this first half here is where I want to pop my adhesive tape. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to make sure I've got a nice coverage of the tape. This is then going to go back in. And what I'm doing with this one is I'm lining up the edge of this layer right up against the edge of the green card. So we're going to come in and then I'm going to press. So pressing that one in. At this point, what I'm going to do, George, is give it another good burnish. Because yeah. you can see how it's just popping up a little bit too much. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, but you want that to be nicely adhered down. So we're going to press that one in. And then we're then going to come in and then I'm making sure that I don't bend that one. So we're going to adhere, we're going to press and burnish. Let's bring that back in once more there and then there. Bringing in our butterfly. Now this one, what we're going to do is we'll pop it into here to yep. break this panel up. You could have done a layer if you wanted to. I didn't, I just wanted to add the butterfly so it's at the side. But what you could do is you could have it on the front if you want nice, to. Nice, yeah. Have a bit of a play. Do you know what? You could have it coming up from the ah, top yeah. if you want to. Good show. Have a little bit of a play about to see how you think it looks. And what we've got is we've got the outline wings that pull up. So I'm going to go back into my tacky glue. And all that I'm going to do within the centre part of the body mm -hmm. is add the glue. Just a little bit. And then what we can do, I'm going to bring this one in here. And I'm going to press and I'm going to hold it while I press and then what I can do is I can pull the wings up slightly yeah and we're getting a little bit more movement on the middle component it's fluttering away it is it really really is what we can then do is pull that bit up now you know it will start to flatten slightly as yeah. you fold it over, but you're still going to get those, the, again, it's movement. And this is yeah. what it's all about, the balance and create a card collection. It's all about movement. Then what we can do is we can come back in now with our man and lady. I've got some thread, which if I pop it onto black, maybe you'll, you can just see that it, it is there. So I'm going to go in, I've got a big long piece I'm going to cut it in half. I will tell you the size that I've cut it through, although we're going to shorten it afterwards once we've tied it, but so that you have a bit of a guide to go by. So these are roughly, which is, so it's 10 inches in yeah. length, but as I say, it's going to be cut a lot shorter with our scissors. And once again, let's bring in a fresh bit of black card without any glue on it so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this one through. So you've got that hoop and because we've done the drop shadow, we've still got that hoop at the top. So what I'm doing to secure it, I'm going to tie a knot. So if I tie it into here and then once again, and then I can leave that one just for a second. So I'm going to do the same with the opposite side. And like anything, George, the longer you have it, for instance, the twine, yeah. the easier it's going to Absolutely. be to get it into place and then, of course, tie it and secure it. So once again, let's take this bit here and tie a knot. Another reason I tie the knot as well is if I didn't, you can imagine how much fun, let's say, I'm going to have trying to secure this to the top bit of the card if it keeps falling out. So by tying a little knot, I know that's nice and secure now. So it doesn't matter when I come along to pop it into here, yeah. these are going to stay in place. They're not going to move. They're not going to fall off. And then I can bring this one back in. Now you have a multitude of areas as to where you want to have it swinging from. Yeah. You know, you've got all of these aperture parts. There's not a specific bit that is to tie into. Yeah. So you can then pinpoint certain areas. 
So what I'm going to do within this one, I'm going to come to this branch bit here and then I'm going to feed one of them through. So let's feed this one, let's go from the back first to make it easier to tie. So feed it through there. And then what I'm going to do, once we get it into place, I'm going to manoeuvre it up. I'm not worried about this side just now, I'm doing one side at a time. And I'm happy with it being round about there. Another tip for you as well, is if you're trying to tie it, and it's maybe moving and you can't get it in the place you want, use your low-tack tape. Okay. Use your low-tack tape to hold everything in, yeah. including the man and the lady. So this just means as you're trying to tie it, it's not moving, it's not going to the side, it's nice and secure. So what I can then do is come along and tie this one in a knot as well. So tie a knot there and tie a knot there. Once I've got it secure, I can take that excess and what I'm going to do is snip close to the top. So that's one. Another benefit of securing it now is I know it's still in place. I can then choose my next area as to where I'm going to be tying this one. So let's pull that one out. So for this one, what I'm actually going to do is go in with that one just here. Yeah. So what I can then do is feed that one through. So let's do from the back again. So I find it easier feeding from the back and then tying from the front. So we're going to feed that one through here, which is there. Pull it up, get the other end, get it into position, and then I'll make sure that's all good. Pull that up. Now, with this being twine, you could use, do you know what would look lovely as well? The glittery twine that came with Sarah's Twas the Night Before Christmas, Christmas collection. Yes, that would, that would look really nice. Really nice. Anything really. I mean anything. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Anything, George, you can do. So what I can then do, let's take these bits off. I'm going to be careful there. I'm going to be careful there. And then last but not least, what we can then do is careful take this one. Securing that, removing that, and what we've got is our swinging ah. icon. So if we come in to the side, so if I move, you can see we've yeah. got the swinging into here. There we go. But fold it over. So it will still go into a normal size card, yep. even although it's got dimension and it's got movement and we've got the swinging. And I love how as well, it's all designed beautifully, perfectly, yeah, in proportion. And you've got your card that we can see here, and then what we'll just do is just so you can see as well. There Perfect. we go. So Love that, that is the card with the, uh, the man and the lady. So wedding anniversary. Uh, of course, it could be um, uh, a wedding. You know, yeah. it could just be a celebration. Whatever you you wish, or mix and match. Maybe bring the butterfly within this one or the birdie. It's entirely up to you. But there we go. That's how we've created that one. Absolutely beautiful. Love that swinging around. It is stunning as always from the wonderful Craig. Remember, you can take your time with this. Oh, we'd love to see your pictures. Remember, get social with us. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Comment them. We'd love to see them. Uh, remember as well, we've got some brilliant thread as well for you. Now, as you may not know, here at Crafters TV, we've got a brilliant range of soft products and soft crafting. Join our Bernie every Sunday, 12 o'clock here in the UK, 7 p.m. East Coast time, for the softer side of life to take a look at soft crafts. But it's always great to implement soft crafting with paper crafting as well. We've got some great uh, embroidery thread here, a great collection. Let me show you. But first of all, we've got the bright collection. It's a strong thread. You've got in here the six different colours, Always good. This is the Brights collection at £7.90, $9.85. Then you've got the Vintage collection. Then you've got the Pastels. And you've got the Bolds. We like Bolds. Oh, wait, that's, that's tones. We don't have Bolds. I don't have Bolds here. Uh, but we don't, that is, there we've got the Bolds there as well. Uh, a great collection, £7.90, $9.85. Saving yourself 10% at that incredible platinum price. Remember, extra 20% off. Right, we'll give you some time to finish off your amazing crafts. Remember, send them in to us. We'd love to see them. And we'll see you very, very shortly. 
had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Yes, welcome back to Craft Long. Are you all comfortable? Everyone comfy? Everyone sat down? All the doors are shut? That's the main thing. Uh, it's the Everyday Credit Card Die Collection. They were only launched a couple of weeks ago, but we are in our wonderful Craft Long, as we always do. Remember, we're not live today, but we still want to see your incredible pictures. Our incredible social team are working hard behind the scenes, so make sure we send them in. Remember, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, we want to see those brilliant cards that you've been making with the great designs. Now, you may not have used... Uh, uh, the car, the design that Craig was using with the wonderful couple on the swing, but you may have gone for one of our other collections. There's six different designs within the pack, and remember, within each pack, you get the uh, element which swings or doesn't necessarily have to swing. You also get the design of the card, and you also get interchangeable sentiments as well. There's two within each pack. So, first of all, I'll take you to the wonderful designs. There, first of all, with here, we've got the wonderful clock swinging away, um, spinning. In fact, it actually spins a bit more on this card. This is here. This is save the date. It's a great card. I think this is my favourite design. I really like clockwork. It's that kind of steampunky. Love that. Again, here, a brilliant design. Then you've got the butterfly wishes. So again, the butterfly, as you can see, is swinging away. There she is, or he is. And again, it's been paper pieced back together. I think that'd look lovely uh, with like some, what's like sweet wrappers, you know, like the see-through, like glitter card, or like uh, acetate, see-through acetate. Again, brilliant there. Then you've also got the raise your glass. Now, Again, we keep saying the element has to swing. It doesn't necessarily have to move at all. It's been stuck on there via acetate, not magic. I'm not, ooh, magician. Um, but there it is. You can see it's just been different, used in a different way. And that's the best thing. We always do it here with Crafters Companion products. They are a one-trick pony. There's so much you can do with them. Snippability every single time. Um, again, a couple, they've gone a bit, there they are. They were a one-trick pony. Yeah, that's... They're not a one-trick pony, no. no. That's the, sorry. That the, right. They're, they're multiple tricks. They're doing cartwheels and somersaults and everything. They're doing all the tricks. They do that little thing where they brush their feet. You can't see it. I realise the desk in the way. Um, here we are with the wonderful. <laughs> Forever yours. Who let me in the building? Again, you've seen Craig using it there. Again, it's been paper pieced. A different design. So much you can do with it. And remember, you've got those interchangeable uh, sentiments. You saw Craig using both on his design. 
You don't have to necessarily use that. You've got together forever and forever yours within this one. Different ones within each. They've also got, again, this is stunning. A great card. It's the it's the shine bright design. Again, you see that moon star element, which could be hanging here in the middle, has been stuck to the back of the card. And then finish off. Um, it's Erin's favourite. Producer Erin's. It's the Lovebirds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There they are, the lovebirds. They sound like pigeons, if I'm honest. Um, but there they are, the lovebirds. A great collection. Six brilliant designs. Remember, Craig's just looking at me going, who is this guy? Uh, it's six brilliant designs within this design. And um, remember, with this bundle as well, you are getting the foam brush, the dye brush, and the foam pad as well. A great collection. Remember, at that price, you're saving yourself 20% in the USA, over 20% here in the UK and EU. But if you're thinking, well, I like that one, I don't think I want to go for the full set, listen, we can, don't you worry. Head to crafterscompanion.com.co.uk dot eu to see the different designs and um, you can see them at price at 19 pounds 99 individually 22.95 or we've got the multi buy any two for 35 pounds 41 dollars but we've still got time we've got half an hour left of craft along shall we do another one i hear you cry yeah let's do it all right craig what are we gonna do next Righty, righty so we're going to make another card we're going to go uh, big with this one eight by eight using the butterflies but we're going to bring in a little bit of acetate um or actually we're not we're going to bring in some vellum and what we're going to do is unlike the one before we're going to give it that swinging aspect but it's actually going to be secured to the vellum so it's not actually going to be hanging down so what we're going to do is, I've got my 8x8 cardstock and yep. also similar to what I've done in the first craft along is we've got my 8x8 and I folded at 4 inches and we've created our fold back that we can see on this one here. Yep. Now what I've done is I have taken some layers from our farmhouse collection. Great collection. So it's a really good collection, I love that isn't collection. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. So many different ways that you can use it. And by the time that you see this one at the end, you, there's no way you would think that's come from no. a farmhouse collection. I have a question for you. What's that? that? Difficult question. If you could only use one paper pad for the rest of your life, you can have a coloured one, a solid colour, and a patterned one. Which paper pads would you use for the... If you could only use one set of paper pads forever and ever, what would you use? Oof. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Right. Um, although it's just launched, yeah. I'm going to say the pattern paper from the Reindeer collection, because that's got a lot of tartan in it. Yeah. More tartan than any of the other collections. Uh, solid cardstock. Oh, solid cardstock. Probably, probably the Be Happy. Yes. Oh, good shout. Be Great happy. colours and in that. Was there a third one? That was it. That's that your was choices. it. So I see. Yeah. I like the everyday celebrations. Because yeah, yeah, you've got good. you've always covered, aren't you? But yeah. I just I just think it's always a great question because we've got so many great paper pads. And like, I always, I, I always wonder, where do you start with crafting? But I know for a lot of the guys, it starts with your paper choice, isn't it? You see it the does. paper and you go, that's what I'm going to craft with. Yep, that's, uh, that's how I start with. Mm. Nine times out of ten, what I, what I don't do is go, right, this is the die I'm going to use, right? I'm going to use this colour, that colour. What I do is I will literally start, something will trigger something in my brain. Oh, yeah, no. absolutely. I'll, I, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, purples and white so then i'll start to build up my background layers yeah. first of all so i tend to work at the back and then come forward up to the actual design so i start with the color mm -hmm. and also the card size that's what i start with first then i work all the way around nice. that one so that's how i how i do it love it now these layers so the patterned cardstock it is three and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So the purple layer is, gosh, can't even remember now. <laughs> three and three quarters by seven and three quarters. Yeah. So that's for that one. And then this one here, the pattern paper is seven and a half by seven and a half. And the purple is seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So I'm going to adhere all these bits to my card blank, first of all before we come along and do our die cutting and do our inking with the butterflies. But we're going to come into this one, we're going to bring it in to here. Simple layering up. 
nothing overly complicated with these ones here. And I find what you will, or what you will find mm -hmm. with these dies, whether you're going to do eight by eight, whether you're going to go five by seven, maybe you're going to go in between, they really do suit lots of different card sizes yeah, that you absolutely. love to do at home. So if you are one that likes to do the big cards like I do, then going to work an absolute treat. But even with the size of them, they're still going to work well on your smaller cards. Yeah. It's not going to be overpowering. It's just going to have the eye focusing on the main aspect that you want, and you're going to be good to go. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that one to the side now. Still using the purple, it's texture that's in the farmhouse collection. I have cut this to five by seven and a piece of Centura Pearl, hint of silver, also to five by seven. We can then go in with our butterfly wishes. So we're going to go in with this one. And what I'm going to do, so the reason I've got it to five by seven is because it's the size of the die, just and no more. Line that one up, bring in a mellow tack tape. And this card is one of them that you would be able to do using your junior or your midi because we are cutting onto a separate element. But as I've got my large Gemini lined up, let's just do it. Yep. And I tell you what, let's, let's not use the metal shim. Let's show you how these are going to cut without the metal shim, no problem yeah. at all. It's more of a, it's kind of like a safety blanket that yeah. I always put anything detailed on creative cards. I will always use a metal shim, but it just goes so you don't have to. It's just that a uh, little bit of, um, uh, comfort that I always put down. And you and then today of all days, Craig wants to live life on the edge. Live life on the edge without the metal shim. That's it. Absolutely. That's it. Right on the edge. <laughs> but I have no worries whatsoever. But he's done it straight away, hasn't it? No qualms, no problems. Nope. It's just worked straight away. Worked straight away. <laughs> so that's all die cut that we can see. Actually, that's yeah. all come out just nicely. So what I'm then going to do, and I'm going to do that once again. I think what we'll do as well is let's go back and we will do a little bit of inking as well. Okay. We're going to make the most of all these little aperture bits within the dies. Yeah. So what I'll do, George, is I'll take all these little bits out, then I'm going to pop this back in, yep. slot it back in, and then we'll use some crushed velvet. Perfect. So we're going to go in, taking all these little bits out, making sure I've got them out, and then we're going to come in. So I'm going to bring it in. So because I don't have much excess card no. all the way around, what I'm going to do is lift it up into my hand. I can feel it lock. Yeah. So that's it nicely locked. Now we're going to go in crushed velvet and I'm going to go over. And this is going to highlight these certain areas. What it's also doing is because the cardstock that I'm using is textured, yeah. you will of course get that textured effect within the ink. Um, just a quick question on the blending yeah. tool for you. You know the pad that's at the bottom? They are on Velcro, but how easy are they to clean? You know, if you want to buy... I know sometimes you guys have pads for each colour. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if, if you're on a budget and you don't want to have 30, 60, 40 pads, mm -hmm. how, they are cleanable and washable, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Warm, soapy water. If anything, actually, uh, sometimes you don't even need the soap. No. Just warm water in a sink. Give them a good uh, clean... Uh, just using your hands, you know, just yeah. manipulate them with the water, get that ink out, and then what to do is leave them to air dry. Perfect. Leave them to air dry at the side, and then, yeah, it's a good way to be able to use them time and time again. As you say, I'm one of them, George, with the water reactors. I do have, not a blending tool, but yeah. a blending foam for each colour, yeah. just for water reactive, not the quick dry or pigment. I, is it Michelle who has the tip of putting a little Velcro pad underneath an ink pad? I, uh, me. Do you do that as me. well? You, yeah. yeah, the little Velcro pad underneath, put the uh, pad attached yeah. to it. I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. um, oh, Aaron's not heard that Aaron's one. Aaron's not heard that one. Yeah, the, the hook, hook and loop or Velcro, the, yeah. rough, the rough side Aaron, just stick that underneath yeah. and then the back end just adheres to it and then yeah. you've got your good one for each one yeah. so you know where they are, you're not mixing or matching anything Absolutely. like that. 
But absolutely, George, if you can reach to uh, a number of refill packs, mm -hmm. you can just use uh, warm soap with water or warm water and give them a wash. Got some great deals on, bring, on the blending refill collection. We'll go through those a little bit later. We've got the squares and circles and the little uh, sponges, which I tried to eat as a kid once, but I'll tell you that story another day. Um, I thought they were marshmallows. So... <laughs> <laughs> it might explain a lot now, to be honest. Right, so we've done our wonderful stencil there with the crushed velvet. Love that. I love that. You know when you think purple on purple, it's not going to work, but like, it just stands out. It's so vibrant, isn't it? That's exactly it. It stands out. It's exactly what it does. Highlights all these specific areas. And this is why I was saying, use the ability of using it as a stencil. It's what it's there for. Yeah. So let's do that. So what I'm then going to do, let's clean this excess ink off because I don't want to get that onto my Centura Peril. Is there um, a tray? <laughs> something going about anyway <laughs> outside. So let's dry that off. And then what I'm going to do, let's take that ink off as well. Yeah. Taking the ink. Then what I'm going to do, I'll need to take my tool. So if I take this one, we're then going to take all these little bits of cardstock yeah. out. There's so still a few little bits, but then that's what our tool's for. Just going back on the ink, do you know when, you, when I see the ink on the paper, I go, that's never going to shift, that's never going to move. But then it just wipes clean off everything else. It, it fascinates me every single time. On paper, it stays yeah. there every time, but when we need to clean it off, it comes up straight away. Yeah, well, it's to do with your... Uh cardstock yeah. is a porous surface so therefore yeah. it's obviously going to seep into Absolutely. it and your dye or stencil a non-porous surface so therefore it's uh, just going to wipe off but yeah it's it's a fascinating thing isn't it yeah you know, certainly when you get crafting and you get inking away to see the different looks and techniques that you can do with them run that one through so i've just gone and done that one now onto the centura peril uh, exactly the same as what we've done with the purple. Yep. And you can probably tell we're going to go for another bit of a drop shadow. Of course. That layered them up. If you didn't, I'd be disappointed. Sorry? If you didn't, I'd be disappointed. Oh, you would you? I would. Yeah. Do, you don't need to fear. I you won't, won't be disappointed. Fear. Thank you, Craig. I won't be disappointed. <laughs> Here we go. Stenciling, drop shadowing, we're doing it all. We're doing it all. No metal shims, living life on the edge today. I, I know, I'm going to town, I'm in oh, Yeah. Really living on the edge. So what we can do is take all these bits out. So little bits here. And I'm going to take all them out. So what we can do, the butterflies that die cut out, Yeah. what happens within these ones here, the wings, they also pop out. Right. <gasps> oh, I see. So, if I pop these little bits out here, yeah. so the butterfly stays in place, George, but the wings oh, that's... pop up. We're just showing off now, aren't we? We that's are. Just... We are. We that's are. clever. We've been the royal we ate. It's product development, and they are yeah. incredible minds. And then what we're going to do is let's go back in. So I'm going to flatten that again because that's going to be onto the back. Yeah. And we're going to pop this one. Drop shadow, but don't worry, you'll still be able to pull up the wings from the yeah. butterfly, even although we're going to do a drop shadow. Of course. And what I'm going to do, once again, I'm using my tacky glue. If you want to use your sprays, your dotty tape runners, what you could even do, because this is a separate element, if you wanted to use your self-adhesive double-sided sheets, yeah. you can. Now, with the butterfly, what I'm going to do is I'm going around the outside edge with my adhesive, mm -hmm. not going on to the wings, otherwise they won't lift no. because they're stuck. And we want the wings to lift. Of course. That's, you know, otherwise butterflies won't fly. They'd be caterpillars. They, they would, wouldn't they? Or is it cocoons? Cocoon. Yeah, cocoons? Well, they go, they go, yeah, they, they start as a little cocoon, caterpillar, like that. Ooh, I'm a caterpillar. And then they go, oh, I think it's time to become a butterfly. And then they go doo -doo -doo -doo, on a tree and then they hang. Always an education here. Education. Always. Uh, make a cocoon. And then a few days later, they go, oh, no, I've got wings. How? And they become a butterfly. And, and they're a beautiful butterfly. Favourite film, Bugs Life. I love that film. Do you and think they're quite smug? They go in as a caterpillar and then they come out. <laughs> Check me out. Look at me. 
Yeah, just, this country is wanna, filled with yeah. smug butterflies just walking around. Like me, are you With the wings are going, wings. well, you can tell by the way I walk my walk, I'm a butterfly, no time is fly. Um, I could just imagine butterflies doing that as well. Yeah. Have you seen Dave over there? Look at him. Look at him, just a caterpillar. Oh, who does Dave think he is doing a caterpillar, eh? I remember the days. What has this show been today? It's been everything, hasn't it? We've had, we've had juice. We've Who had... needs David Attenborough when you've got us guys? Yeah. Who hey, needs us? I love David Attenborough. Oh, he's an absolute legend. Absolute legend. We need to protect him. We need to put him in a cocoon. In a cocoon, yeah. And he might be coming back as a beautiful butterfly. Oh, that'd be... Hasn't he got, hasn't he got like something named after him? A boat. Oh, I thought it was like an animal or something, like an insect. Like, that would make more sense, but a boat. Oh, was it Boaty McBoatface? That, that's the problem with us here in the UK. You give us an inch, we take a mile. <laughs> name this boat Boaty McBoatface. That's what we named it. Boaty McBoatface. Brilliant. Yeah, we always just go one step further, don't yeah. we? We, we name our much. gritters here in the UK now as well, don't we? What was that? You know, like the gritters when it snows. Yeah, oh, the yeah. They, we, the, like the local councils here in the UK go, we want you to name our gritters for a little bit of fun. So the gritters are like the thing that clears the roads when it snows here in the UK. And they, oh, you call it a snow plow in the States. Okay, so we call them like salt, yeah, they're called gritters here in the UK because they put grit, salt grit down as well. Um, and the councils always go, name them. And it's always like Gritty McGritface or uh, Philip Ploughfield, who's Schofield, he's a presenter, or um, Holly Willoughby, she had one. They've all had celebrities who had them named after them, just yeah. with grit. Uh, references or plow references yeah true grit true uh, true grit that's one as well yeah there's loads of them it's it, some of them have been funny good play on celebrity names yeah. haven't they people do have uh, busy <laughs> don't have <laughs> much time with that <laughs> to just come up with these names what are you done today well i, I named I, some snow plows yeah mr oh simpsons mr plow i mean the Simpsons one. Um, if you've seen the episodes, you know what I mean. I love that. So is that vellum you've put on the back there? It is, yeah. So we done that into our pur purple, die cut yep. with the ink. We then went in and die cut the Centura Peril. We didn't do any inking because yep. obviously we've done it as a drop shadow. And then also on a piece of vellum, five by seven, what I've done, using my tacky glue, we've attached that one onto the vellum. So what I can then do is set that one out the way for now. Yep. Let's bring back in our plates. We're going to go in with the butterfly. Mm -hmm. Still got just a few little bits in here. So let's take them out. So I'm going to go in with another bit of the textured purple and secure that one. Within this set here, we have got happy birthday and best wishes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the best wishes with the Centura Pearl and we can cut that one. And then still from the farmhouse collection, yeah. what I've done is I've taken a couple of the toppers, one of them being a sentiment and one of them being the love heart, which mm -hmm. we're going to add. So we can run this one through and then we can start to finish this card. Oh, it got, I love this. So great, such a great card. Remember, this is what I love about Crafters Companion. The hard work is done for you every single time. We've done all the hard work for you to make it look so good and so stunning. Such beautiful cards, great designs. Remember, there, that price that you see there is the bundle price and you get that wonderful die brush and foam pad as well. Head to the website to see our other deals available with this bundle. So now that I've die cut them, Let's take these ones out. Yep. Now, when you were saying mm. that they are not just a one-trick pony. Yep. Lots of things you can do with them. Remember as well, you know, how much of an advocate I am of our foil press. You can use these on your foil press. You, you come these, up with some ideas, you. These will all, size-wise, they will all fit on the foil press. Yep. So you'll get a different look in the fact of the detail will be foiled, but you can cut it down to five by seven. So all of the die cut areas would be yep. foiled and then maybe take the butterfly, die cut it out and have that sitting in the top. Yep. You know, I've done uh, a couple of segments recently on Crafters TV showing you how you can use your creator cards on the foil press. So yep. always go back onto our YouTube have a look at the foil press shows specifically 
and you'll be able to see how you can use all of your normal dies within the foil press. Size dependent, of course, as long as they sit on the platform, yeah. then you'll be able to foil with them. So we've got the butterfly and we've got best wishes. So I'm going to come back in with this one. Mm -hmm. Now within the layer, I've kept the white Centura Pearl yeah, flat, but I've that. lifted the purple wings. Yeah. Going to now come in with the butterfly. Once again, the outline of the wings, I'm going to lift. The actual detailed wings, I'm going to lift slightly. And then on the body, I'm going to add a little bit of the tacky glue. And when I say a little bit, it is always just a little bit because yeah. it is very, very tacky. So I'm then going to come in and then I'm going to press and adhere to this one. The good kind of tacky, I'd like yes. to add. Not, not like tacky as in like, oh, that's tacky. It's tacky and, oh, that's tacky. Yes, no, tacky as in sticky. How that made sense. It made sense in my head. Uh, I, I had producer Erin, I had her right there in the palm of my hand and then I lost her like a butterfly. Uh, I love the, do you know what Craig, this card, with the greatest respect, looks, is simple but elegant at the same time. And, but there's so much work going into it, but I love that. Sometimes simplicity is the, is the best in these. It is, you really, really are correct on that one. And that's what I find with many of our products at Crafters Companion. You can, as always, keep it very simple or yep. go to town, but you can really go to town on the cards to make them look complicated, to make them look detailed, and yes, they may look like that, but to actually create them is very simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple and straightforward. To you that's making them simple and straightforward, but to the person receiving them, who in most cases won't be a crafter, no. they'll be like, wow, how did you make that? That must have spent... You must have spent ages. Yeah. And you could be like, yeah, I spent a couple of days on well, it. Maybe just an hour or so. But. Well, I said my parents, my mum went, how do they do that? And I said, what do you mean? They went, cut everything out. Do they sit there with a pair of scissors? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. She doesn't know about die cutting machines. I'm not going to spoil the magic for her. You, a magician never reveals their secrets. Same with crafters. You never reveal your secrets and how you, you do the magic. Never reveal. Never. No, why would you reveal it? Yeah, exactly. Never do it. Never do it. So then what I'm going to do to finish off, I'm going to pop some of the glue onto what is going to be the left hand side, but yeah. I'm only coming in maybe about halfway because it's going to overhang on the card. So I'm going to come halfway here and even popping a little bit in the back. So it's all about hiding the adhesive. So we can then come in and I'm going to Secure that and pressing it in. And I'm not putting any layers behind the vellum. No. Because if you put any layers, even if it's just white, anything like that, what you're doing is you are blocking that see-through of the vellum. Now, I know it's not completely see-through, mm -hmm. but you're getting that, uh, su such as that um, muted effect coming all the way through with the vellum. Whereas if you put any layers underneath, you're going to block it, yeah. which you don't want. You, you might want to, but in this occasion, I don't. So I'm going to lift the wings up here, press it in, secure it once more so you can see we've then got our opening. We're going to come in with the last couple of bits. Love Let's this. go in with our tape runner. I'm going to bring this one in. It's going to go into the centre, yep. but I want to make sure that it's not going to be seen while it's closed. So I can then put to a lovely couple. And then with this little love heart, let's go in with a foam pad. We're going to lift it up, pop it underneath into here. Let's bring this one in. We're going to sit it there. And then there we go, George. Yeah. We've gone now for an eight by eight card that we can see here. I love the love heart in the middle. Still folds relatively yeah. flat, but as you say, you've got that accent detail with the love heart in the yeah. middle, should you wish to do it. But you've still got that balancing aspect without having to worry about maybe twine or mm -hmm. thread. Yes, that's working really, really well with vellum. If you really want to have that magic, as Joe's been, Joe, sorry, <sighs> as George was showed you earlier on. I quit! No, I'm joking. I would never do that. I love it here. Hashtag awkward. Uh, or use your acetate. That's going to give you that magic effect as if it is actually floating. So there we go. Yeah. 
Lovely, Joe here on Crafters TV. I'm joking, that's not how he speaks. Um, <laughs> he's... I'll get my car and leave very, very shortly. Uh, again, a great collection on the... I know you guys love Joe. I, I love Joe as well. Uh, a great collection. Remember, it's taken from the Everyday Creative Card Day collection with those wonderful elements. Plus, in this bundle, you're getting the foam brush as well. Guys, we've also got... A, oh, there we are. Ta-da! We've also got great deals on inks. You've seen been using the inks all day. Metallic inks, one of my favourites. A brilliant deal. We love a bit of uh, inks. Always do. Let's start here. We've got the five-piece collection, the metallic inks. A great collection. There we go. We've got red garnet. We've got jade green, amethyst, pink lace. Did they sing? No, they didn't sing Macarena, did they? And platinum. Again, great collection of colours. Brilliant at that incredible price, saving yourself 20%. Basically, you're paying for four, you're getting one for free. Then we've also going for the uh, neutral collection. Some beautiful colours in here. Sandstorm. Da -da 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 -da. We've also got Seal Brown and Twilight Grey. Some great collections, saving us over 30% on that one. And the Turquoise collection. We've got Oasis, because today was going to be the day. Then you've also got par Parakeet. And we've also got green topaz as well. Some beautiful colours, remember, £9.98, $13.90, saving yourself over 30%. And look at that platinum price. You heard us talk about it earlier with the refills on the uh, blending tools, the square refills, circle refills, and also the blending tools. We've got a brilliant deal for you at the minute. Look at that price, and you're getting everything within here. You're getting the circle refills that you see here. They've got the Velcron, another, another set of 10 circle refills. You're also getting the square refills. As Craig said, we know they're not squares, they're rectangle. And you're getting four blending sponges. As I was saying, my mum used to have a set of these when I was a kid in white, and I thought they were little marshmallows, so I tried eating one. So. Don't eat the marshmallows. Don't eat the sponges, guys. Um, £8.90, $11.90, saving yourself 20%. And look at that platinum price, under a tenner, both in the UK and USA, if you're getting that extra 20% off. Brilliant deal. Um, but our craft along today has been about our everyday creator card die collection with 26 element. Six incredible designs within this collection. You can see them all there. Let me remind you of their names. Butterfly Wishes. You've just seen Craig demonstrate with that one. Forever Yours. Shine Bright. Raise Your Glasses. Love Birds. Save the Day. In this bundle today as well, you're also going to be getting the foam brush at the dye brush estate and the foam pad as well. Worth it alone. $97.99, $118.95. Craig, let's take a look at some more samples of these. Let's do that because we've got some of the most gorgeous finished samples yeah. using this collection here. So let's bring a little glasses down that you can see here. Now, not doing too much to the inside or the, or the side of it. You're letting the actual balancing aspect do the shouting for you. All of this has been uh, inked over the top mm -hmm. using that to die as a stencil but so many different occasions that that one would work for actually all of them would work for but whether you're going down that smaller avenue of card then you absolutely can do but then going bold oh yeah see how lovely does that look and then what about start to layering up yeah whichever the balancing design is this one being the butterfly do it so it's double-sided but then your concept cards, using your Ultimate Pro or your scoreboard, start to incorporate them as well. Because remember, you always have the side and the bottom that stays in place. So it enables you to do things like your concept cards that you've got. Keeping it very simple, maybe a few little layers, but then having that craft card with the gold or the rose gold just shining through. Looks lovely. Or if you maybe want to have it in position, staying yep. still, but making it look magic, which is going to be done with the vellum. So if I pop my hand, acetate, sorry, not vellum. Keep getting my acetates and vellums mixed up on... Uh, well, Gartalum. easily done, mate, easily done. Now, how, that just shouts summertime to me, yeah. those colours that have been used. Summer juice there. It's Some summer it? juice. Summer juice. Yeah. Some uh, fizzy juice in Some there. Some fizzy juice in there. And then look at these two here, same ones, but look at the difference. Oh, so if you do like your monochromatic, you know, if you do like um, vintage, if you do like all those dirty tones, then you can start be using them if you so wish. Another one, let's go in. I'm going to go back into the glasses again, because look how different that looks yeah. compared to the bright one before. That's New Year's Eve, that. Yeah. There we go. So, 
so oh, many nice. different styles. What about, again, there's another one. Same kind of card effect yeah. I showed you earlier, but using the man and the lady together again. Another few with the moon. This one being oh, with the sparkle. Wow. Look at that paper in the background. That's it. So this one, sorry, this one here is using the sparkle. Yeah. So you can do that. Then vellums on the background. So have a look. What have you got in your crafty stash that you've got excess of? Maybe little bits that you can start to incorporate and use up, such as vellums as acetates. Then slightly different style on this one here. Remember, these work a treat by folding flat, even although you've got that swinging aspect. Yep couple more that we can see here so all of these we've i've showed you there's light tones dark tones pastel tones there's smaller cards larger cards concept cards lots of different styles and themes that you can do with these balance and creator cards absolutely it's been another brilliant and craft long thank you so much craig as always for your amazing designs thank you george thank you mate remember you can come back and watch this show later on coming up for you in two hours time 7 p.m uk time 2 p.m east coast time the wonderful Ben's going to be here with the lovely Debbie Robinson for Craft House. I've been George. I'll see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. And remember, let's see your wonderful designs. Get in touch via socials. But for now, I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.